Hey, what's going on YouTube? In case you couldn't tell, I am Sam, and thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel, All You Deal, All The Time. Today I've got kind of a weird video for you guys, it's just kind of like a miscellaneous opening, just some products I have right now. Um, it's going to be real quick, as you can see, I don't really have much out. I'm actually saving a lot of money for the gold sarcophagus um, for when that drops. I want to buy a bunch of those and do kind of like a massive opening for you guys. Maybe open a good like at least five boxes at the very least. Um, I want to shoot for like 10 and hopefully we can do that. <clears throat> so in the meantime, our product openings are going to be eh, a little lackluster, but nevertheless, we'll get into this. And also for this video, if you can see, I've got the promos for the new Yu-Gi-Oh game for Nintendo Switch, I believe is called Link Evolution. I've been playing that a little bit and we'll review that as well and talk about some of these promo cards, which actually aren't bad at all. Um... And this is what we'll open first. And then I've got these two little Rising Rampage blister packs. We'll open those as well. Hopefully I can pull something like an Appaloosa. That would literally be godly. That would be absolutely insane. Or any Prismatic. Um, some of the cards I'm looking to get would be like Cyframe Lloyd Lamb Lambda, I believe, is in this set. That would be pretty cool too. Even Borlord x -Charge Dragon would be pretty cool. Even though he's not that good of a card, but... <clears throat> it would still be cool anyway we'll get into the promos for the link evolution um game and i've been playing this game it's cool but there's some issues there's some issues there's some good things and i'll make a separate video to like fully review it for now we'll just go over these promos so the first promo here is prog leo he's a very generic card he just takes two monsters except tokens which is great good to see these generic cards during your main phase if you control this link summoned card you can banish this card and one of your monsters this card points to then target one link monster in either grave either grave that's pretty cool um special summon it but banish it when it leaves the field you can only use this effect once per turn, so I think it would be good if you're going in like a mirror match and then you can steal one of your opponent's link monsters. For example, if you were like doing doing a Orcist mirror match and then you steal a Galatea in their grave, that would be like insane. And then it gets banished too. That's That would be pretty cool. That could be huge. So I think he's good. I don't think he'll see much play though, but I don't think he's a bad card at all. Next, we've got Micro Microcoder, Dark Level 1, Cybers Monster. We'll go over this effect real quick. If a Cybers Monster you control would be used as link material for a Code Talker Monster, this card in your hand can also be used as material. Very nice. If this card is sent from the hand or field to the grave as material for the link summon of a Code Talker um, monster, you can either add one Cynet spell trap from your deck to your hand, or if this card on the field was used as material, you can add one level 4 Cybers monster instead. You can only use each effect of Micro Coder once per turn. He's not bad, but I just don't feel like Decode Talker is being used all that much anymore, so eh, I think Proglio is better. And then we've got Cynet Codec, and this card is searchable off of Micro Coder. We'll read this. It's a continuous spell card. That's a pretty cool picture too, I'm just now noticing. Just to zoom in on you guys, for you guys, that's kind of cool. Anyway, if a code talker monster, or monsters, is special summoned from the extra deck to your field except during the damage step, you can target one of those monsters, add one cyber monster with the same attribute from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Cypress monsters, even if this card leaves the field. You cannot add other monsters with that same attribute to your hand by the effect of Cyanide Codec this turn, and you can only activate the effect of Cyanide Codec once per chain. Not bad. Uh, again, I just don't think you'll see all that much play. Anyway, we'll get into these Rising Rampage blister packs here.
All right. We'll get into the first rising rampage. We've got the Marine Sea Star. Nice. Dino Wrestler Marshall Ankelo. Ranryu. Cool. Grid Rod. And oh my god, wow! I totally forgot about this card. Gizmek Orochi, the Serpentron Sky Slasher. Guys, this pack was like four bucks, and I just pulled like this card is going for like twenty dollars. That's crazy. And what's crazy is that I've been looking more and more into this card for like Orcist. And um I've been thinking I want it and to test it, and I just pulled it. That's insane. Wow. Whoa, money back right there. Okay, Gizmo Karochi. Very nice to see that. And that's a sick picture. We'll read its effect real quick. If this card is in your hand or grave, quick effect, you can banish eight cards from the top of your deck face down. Special summon this card. You can banish three cards from your extra deck face down, then target one face up monster on the field, destroy it. Eh. You can only use one Gizmo Karochi effect per turn and only once that turn. So the reason I think this card is good in Orcus, just to be, just to kind of summarize this card's potential real quick, is that um, if you got your whole Orcus combo going, the recursion for Orcus is just pretty insane. So at this point, when you got everything set up, you know, kind of in the grave, you can start banishing extra cards from your deck. It's no problem. And I feel like this card just kind of helps put extra bodies on the um, field which is kind of a problem I see with Orcus. Not that Orcus isn't one of the best decks, of course it is, but I just feel like this card can kind of help. It also really helps in decks that rely a lot on banishing, like the, um, gosh, I can't remember the name of it right now. I think it's Gren Maju that gains attack based on the number of cards banished. And there was this guy actually, um, topped a tournament i don't recall which tournament it was with the deck revolving around that strategy and this card was integral this card was maybe like 12 bucks when it first dropped and now it's at that 20 dollar range and it could very well stay there i think this card is going to see a lot of competitive play um and it's not going to drop really anyway so cool to see that and then for our rare we've got star power very nice uh, Elbors, the Sacred Lands of S'more, Yosenjiro Isna, and World Legacy Bestowal. So, I think we've already got, honestly, I think that's already a godly opening, guys. I mean, I just pulled a $20 card out of a blister pack. That's pretty cool. We'll go into the second one, and I swear to God, if I pull, like, an Appaloosa or Cyframe Lord Lambda... That would, like, literally just blow my mind. I doubt it, but that would just be probably the most insane blister pack opening on YouTube ever. So, Volt Tester. He looks pretty cool. Uh, whoops. Number 29, Mannequin Cat. I like the art on this card. It's a cute little Xyz monster. Psychic Fervor, the return to the normal. We've got Mayo Senju Hitot. Eh, eh, not the card you want to pull, but man, is that picture really cool. Then we've got Fist of the Unrivaled Tenyi. Very nice. Tenyi seeing some play. Samori Bird of Calamity, Yosenju Isna, and Set Up a Cut. So I was thinking that this opening would be like really dry. Um, but it definitely wasn't because we pulled a secret rare. Gizmek Orochi, the ser the Serpentron Sky Slasher. Wow. That was insane to pull that. Well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to go ahead and hit that like button, that really helps me out. Subscribe if you want to see future, pro future product openings every week. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching.